Hey guys, just a little update on this 1985 Chevy C10 truck that goes by the name of Walter. I have ordered some new parts for this truck, and I apologize for the sirens. It seems like seems like a lot of videos now that I put up have sirens in them, and I don't know what's going on, but it's a crazy, crazy world out there. Uh, got me some more of these uh, Fender uh, side marker lights, lens. I'm real proud of these. Uh, see this one? This is a custom deluxe, if you didn't know. I got these here that's got the chrome. And look how much better the colors are on this compared to the ones that's on here. I think it's really going to make it stand out. Real proud of that. I got these on uh, eBay, by the way. And the company that I like buying from that always sends good good uh, product is this bunch right here. So I'm just, I'm not getting paid or endorsed or anything. I'm just telling you that this bunch right here seems like they do a pretty good job of, give, of get, giving you, excuse me, what you want. And, uh, and, it, and it gets here pretty quick. Now I did have a problem today. It was uh, delivered by the postal person to the wrong address, which that's kind of common. We have a new postal person and uh, it, it would be kind of confusing. I'd probably have nightmares thinking about delivering all the stuff that goes on in the mail system lately. I also got these right here. I just want to show you these two. Got these on eBay, they're used, which is perfect. This is my first time to stick them up next to the truck. Should be good. I got, uh, I guess I should show you what. Let me get all this for it. The wind's really blowing today, and I'm not going to put any of this stuff on today. I just, just got it. It's the end of the day. It should be dark in about an hour or so, and I'm just not going to fool with it today. But I got these right here, and that stop is broke. Let me see if... Well, all the stubs are broke. I'll have to come up with some way to put these on. But it's no big deal. Anyway, remember this one was broke. And there's a little small dent right here. And I'm thinking that's why maybe this got broke. I don't know what's happened during Walter's life, but it lost the custom and the D. Or Dell. What would that be? Custom Dell. It's got, it's got the UXE, so... Just having a little fun with y'all. Anyway, I'll get this sorted out. I might get me a piece of plastic and glue it, or I'll come up with something, and uh, we'll get this on here. Now that, that'll look much better. I'm just trying to make the truck look like all the pieces are here, and even though they're used, you know they still have some life left in them. So uh, I got these. I don't know if I told you, but I got these on uh, eBay. These. Both of these were like, uh, I want to say $19 and something, free shipping. So the rest of them on there were like 70 80 90 bucks, best I can remember. So it, I, it just so happened I'd been looking and looking to see if I could find some. And uh, one day I just happened to look on eBay and there they were. I mean used, which is perfect. Looks like it used to be blue, whatever these came off of. So, hang on. Sorry about that, guys. That was GM1038 on the phone with me, and uh, he was telling me he just bought another square body truck. So I don't know what his plans are for it, but uh, we'll see. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a '83 or '84 that he bought. '83 or '84 GMC Sierra. Uh, classic i think's what he said it was i haven't seen it so i don't know but uh i forgot what i was saying anyway i got these got these pieces here and luckily you know either both of these will work so if i screw one if, i'm sorry if i mess one up you know <laughs> i got another chance i might try to find something and this don't have no stops at all this one has one and it's broke, so it might be why it was 20 bucks. But I'll come up with some way, even if I have to, 
even if I have to put a little screw or something in it and color it black, just something to, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to pay 70 or 80 bucks for, for an emblem. I'm, I just, I just can't afford it. So, but anyway, that should look much better. I, I think this dent, let me set this stuff. Here's the one that doesn't have one on it. Let's see. I think once I get this on, I don't even think you'll notice the dent that much. The dent is right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a small little dent. And it don't matter. If it, if this emblem hadn't have been broken, I never would have noticed it. It's that, it's that slight. But I think I can come up with something to make this all work. Looks better than not having one, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, that's that's a good thing. So, anyway, I got my parts. I can't believe they come from two different locations. And I can't believe that I got them both on the same day. So, I've, if you'll remember, I've put new taillights and stuff in here. Uh, not too long ago, I did. And I, I, this truck was born without the little... I call it chrome, but it's actually aluminum uh, around the tail lights here. And uh, I, I elected or decided to put, put these on just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Same way with the, oh, same way with these marker lights. I think it, I think it'd dress it up just a little bit, kind of make it pop. That's my whole thing. Try to make something pop best that I can. I think it'll look much better. I'll put them on when I got a little bit more time and, and, uh, you know, I will, we'll go from there. I'm still deciding on this door. I know I've told y'all this before. I'm still deciding on the door. I'm not really sure I get, try to match this up. I have a plan in my head. I don't want to talk about it out loud. It's something pretty, I guess you could call it pretty radical. I'll show you the rest of this bed. I don't know if it'll work or not. The plan I have in my head, I've never seen anybody do this kind of stuff from what I'm thinking about doing. So it's kind of like that uh, 78 Chevy truck I had, Papaw. You know, it had a, it was blue, you know, and then it started kind of fading away and had little spots like this. Well, I, in order to make it all match because I'm doing a color change on Papaw, I used Vaseline. And I put Vaseline all over it, you know, where it was thin and stuff. And then I spray painted it. Then I wiped the Vaseline off and it kept the, you know, the patina on it. So I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to do something on this door, I think. And uh, the tailgate, the tailgate and the door, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what's, I don't know the history on this, on Walter. Walter's got a story to tell, but I'd. You know, I, I don't know. I don't I don't think the door and stuff's been changed out, though. That's what's got me bum-fuzzled. But anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick video. And I do these videos not just, not just for y'all, but for me as well. Because as the truck changes, sometimes I forget what I have and have not done. So I kind of look back on this stuff, too. And then one of these days, if somebody wants to buy the truck, if they ever do, you know, I can say, well, go back and... Look at the videos and you can see what all has been done to Walter. So, hope y'all's having a great day. Thanks for listening to me. And I'm just tickled to get those parts. Uh, you're watching Primer is Best. If you'd like to subscribe, I would appreciate it. And I have a second YouTube channel called uh, Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best. Uh, Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. And I'm on Facebook, Primer this Best. Man, it is cold out here and I'm going in. So y'all have a blessed day. The Lord's in charge. And uh, I'm so glad that he is. So uh, there's no need to worry because he's in charge. Y'all have a blessed day. Catch you in the next one. See you later.